The next call was a split call. Um, Denise Roach, five minutes. O papatua no ku ke raro, ko nga tangata ke wainga nui, tihei mauri ora. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. I rise to take the second call, short call for the Greens on this, the first reading of Te Ture Whenua Māori Bill. And sir, I do that in the knowledge that we will be opposing this bill and the reasons for this, which were outlined in detail by our first speaker, Marama Davidson, but it's also because it breaches the charter, the very charter that the Green Party is founded on. So our charter states that the opening comment in the charter of the Green Party says that the Green Party of Aotearoa New Zealand accepts Te Tiriti o Waitangi as the founding document of Aotearoa New Zealand, recognises Māori as tangata whenua in Aotearoa New Zealand, and then it goes on to commit us to four principles. And the fourth, the third principle, sir, is around appropriate decision making. And our charter says that for the implementation of ecological wisdom and social responsibility, decisions will be made directly at the le appropriate level by those affected. Now, sir, the process that has happened to bring this bill to the House, um, we believe, does not meet our standards of appropriate decision making appropriate decision making and we certainly wouldn't want to see it continue uh, continue through the legislative process. The second point, sir, is that we believe that this bill has the potential to create the kind of errors that we've seen in the past happen from the Crown, where it was we deliberately where the Crown deliberately set up legislation that breached Te Tiriti of Waitangi. Sir, in the, ministers, uh, the Minister for Treaty Settlements address earlier today, he stated that Te Ture Whenua ref um, Māori Bill desperately needs reform, and we're not necessarily opposed to reform in the right circumstances. He also outlined that over the last 100 years, there's been something like 180 different uh, pieces of legislation dealing with Māori land. And most of those, I would add, nearly all of them, were about alienating Māori from their land. It was not until the first act, the 1993 Te Ture Whenua Act, came into, uh, came into being that actually it put at the heart the retention of Māori land by Māori. And so if we are going to, as a parliament, uh, uh, reform this bill, then we need to look very, very, very carefully at how we do that before we even start. Sir, the Greens agree with the report from the Waitangi Tri Tribunal, with the concerns that they raised. And some of those concerns were around the fact that the consultation process has not been big enough or wide enough or sure enough to enable Māori to build support for this bill. And we will not support this bill through the legislative process when it is not supported by Māori, because that goes right across appropriate decision-making pr principles as outlined in our charter. Sir, so we are concerned that the governance of Māori land should be driven by Māori, not by the Crown. And there is an unseemly haste to pursue this reform when we still don't know, and the Waitangi Tribunal outlined it themselves, we still don't know actually what the barriers are to utilisation and economic development, what the barriers are um, with the current 1993 Te Ture Whenua Act. Sir, we believe there should be a slower process taken and that there should be proper consultation, not consultation on the hoof, as happened with a shifting meal, a shifting meal at every, at every, um, every meeting where um, different drafts had appeared. And in fact, where drafts of this appeared, which couldn't, couldn't even be understood or digested at the time when the consultation was supposed to be taking place. So, sir, for these reasons, we urge the Minister of Māori Affairs to pull this bill back and to, um, to think again, because we'll be opposing it. Uh, the Honourable Nanaima.